And finally, new rule. If authorities in New York are going to continue their crackdown on Times Square psychics, an industry that sucks millions of dollars out of gullible people with the vague promise of a better life, they have to answer one question. How is religion different? Ooh. All right, all right, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm gonna let you answer that one tonight because tonight, folks, is not about religion. It's about political religion and about how gullible people can be. Psychics, you know, are not really clairvoyants. They're con artists who know how to read subtle behavioral clues, like they might correctly guess that you're single and lonely if they go to read your palm and your dick is in it. <laughs> And although, <laughs> although fortune-telling is actually protected by the First Amendment, it does raise a moral question, best expressed by a New York detective who, who was on the case and who asked, is it okay to rob stupid people? Send your answers to Glenn Beck <laughs> at tellmeyourpinnumber.com. But you know, what happened in New York is the psychics got so greedy it became impossible to ignore. One psychic took this guy for over $700,000 by telling him that she could deliver to him the woman he loved, even though that woman did not love him. Why didn't she love him? Because of evil spirits. The kind psychics know how to get rid of. Oh, and also one other thing, at one point she died. But not a problem, said the psychic who told the guy he could still be with her, she'd just be in a different body. At this point, the guy went to the police and said he was suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> but he kept giving the psychic more money. This is what experts call the sunk cost fallacy, which means the more you sink money into something, the more you have to believe it, even in spite of new evidence that, you know, She's dead, Jim. <laughs> Even after the psychic was proven completely wrong, the sucker still had faith in her. Which brings me to the Republican Party. <laughs> I'm sorry. I knew that was going. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that Republicans are like psychics, because psychics are right sometimes. <laughs> Woo! Whereas trickle-down economics has never been right. And yet Republican voters keep buying into it, even though that girlfriend has been dead since the 80s. <laughs> and speaking of dead since the 80s, you may have noticed that Dick Cheney was back in the news last week. <laughs> Dick Cheney was back in the news. That's why you saw the sky turn gray and all those crows gathering on the jungle gym. <laughs> Yes, Dick was also making predictions about Obama's Iran deal. Even though about Iraq, he had said, there is no doubt Saddam has weapons of mass destruction and we will be greeted as liberators. You have to give it to Republicans. They have big balls. <laughs> They're just not crystal ball. <laughs> You'd think at some point, Meet the Press would say, let's stop booking Dick Cheney and get someone more credible, like a bag of fortune cookies. <laughs> Is invading Iraq a good idea? <laughs> Better to press shirt than to press luck. <laughs> there, I just saved us $4 trillion. I mean, it goes on and on. During the last election, Mitt Romney said, if President Obama is reelected, you will not be able to get a job. But unemployment is now lower than it ever was under Reagan. It's Romney who can't get a job. <laughs> Mitt also said, if we bailed out the car companies, you can kiss the American automotive industry goodbye. But we did bail them out, and it's doing better than ever. Donald Trump said Obamacare would be a job killer. But it didn't kill jobs. It didn't result in death panels didn't bankrupt the states. It didn't bankrupt the nation. It didn't bankrupt Medicare. It didn't bankrupt the insurance industry. 
here's what actually happened. The insurance companies got richer, some black kids got inhalers, and John Boehner had to pay more taxes on his tan. <laughs> Or how about Newt Gingrich in 2012 saying, if you want $10 a gallon gasoline, Barack Obama should be your candidate? Or the NRA president saying, a re-elected Obama would erase the Second Amendment from the Bill of Rights? Or Rick Santorum warning that if gay marriage became the law of the land, our country will fall? You know, for a party that's so anti-gay, they sure pull a lot of stuff out of their ass. <laughs>